Hey, it's Jay from Soul Making Fun. If you haven't already, you should check out the first video in the series. In fact, if you haven't seen it already, go ahead and pause this video and click the link on this page that gets you to video number one. If you have seen it, then you know that I talked about the typical soul business model that a lot of people use. I also went over the example of Amy and her need to get 120 new customers each month to cover her living expenses and her business expenses. In this video, I'm going to talk about the real power of a soap business and something that Amy can do just a little differently that could make things so much easier for her. Now, before we go any further, I want to admit something to you. Something so damaging, you may just pause this video. But before you do, hear me out. Here it is. I've never sold a bar of my soap. Not one. And you're probably saying to yourself, how are you going to tell me about selling soap if you've never done it yourself? And you're completely justified in thinking that. I know that I would. Here's the thing. Since I started Soap Making Fun back in 2006, the site has gone from a little small fun site to a real business. As time went on, I started to really dive into learning business and marketing principles. Many of those principles are universal and apply to everything from selling soap to lawn care services. As I learned these principles and watched my soap video students go on to start their own businesses, I started to see that many of them were unaware of some major business secrets. Secrets that would make their soap businesses much more profitable. One of those secrets is that you are more likely to make sales to previous customers than you are to new customers. And it makes perfect sense. A previous customer has already been exposed to your marketing and you won them over to the point where they bought your product. Since you make a stellar product, I know you do, and they are happy and totally satisfied with it, they would be more likely to buy from you again if you gave them the chance. The mistake that most soap business owners make is that they neglect their previous customers. If those same soap business owners focused on getting more of their previous customers to buy, they would need fewer and fewer brand new customers each month. So, let's go back to our example with Amy. We said that Amy needed $3,000 per month and that her average sale was $25 per transaction. This would mean that she needs 120 sales per month to get to her goal of $3,000. If she followed the route of most soap business owners, she would focus her energy on finding 120 new customers every month. Now let's say one day that she decided to do something a little bit differently. Instead, for the upcoming month, her goal was not only to find 120 new customers, but also to get 20 of her previous customers to buy again. So let's look at the math and see what that would mean. Her 120 new customers would bring in the $3,000 that she needs. Meanwhile, she makes her goal of getting the 20 previous customers to buy as well. The previous customers would provide another $500. So her total revenue for the month would be $3,500 even though she still only brought in 120 new customers. That's a big deal. So of course Amy is thrilled and decides to try it again. This time she makes a goal of having 20 more previous customers buy on top of the 20 from the previous month. And this is completely doable because you have to keep in mind that she brought in 120 customers the previous month. So she has an even bigger pool of uh, customers to try to get her 40 previous customer sales from. So let's go ahead and look at the math again. So she still brings in her 120 new customers equaling $3,000. She has her 20 previous customers which bring in $500. And then she has 20 existing customers. These are people who have bought from her one to two times before. And they bring in an extra $500. That gives Amy $4,000 with the same number of new customers. I hope you're starting to see how powerful this is. Let's think about it this way. What if Amy had a bad month and only brought in 100 new customers? If she was still able to get the 40 previous customers to buy, that would still give her $3,500. That's still $500 more than she would have made if she had brought in all 120 new customers on a good month using the old business model. 
So the takeaway from this video is that if you're going to have a soap business, you need to find a way to get your previous customers to buy from you again. The real power of a soap business, in my opinion, is that you're selling a product that everyone needs and is consumed fairly quickly. Your previous customers will need soap again. As long as they are in good health, I can guarantee that they are going to buy soap again from somewhere. Why not you? In the next video, I will talk about some solutions that you can use to help make things easier to get those repeat customers to buy from you again.